Mr. Vijay, congratulations for clearing a PMP. You have to unmute even though you cleared PMP. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I thought PMP would help me get away with everything, but not the unmute. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. <laughs> yeah. So how many days back you cleared the exam? So I've cleared it on 14th November, which is like five days back. It was a Tuesday. Five days back. Are you sure it is more thrilling than the final World Cup match? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's yeah. an adrenaline adrenaline filled event actually the exam. Oh, my God, it's like something like proposing when you're in college days. <laughs> yeah, 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 proposing knowing that uh, there are ninety percent that you'll get rejected, <laughs> even then yeah. you propose. My yeah. God, man, yeah, that's a gut feel. I like that. I like that. Good, but th that's good, right? When you clear the exam, that joy is something you can't. Uh, you can, I don't think you can express by words. It's you have to feel about it. <laughs> Yeah, in, in fact, what happened with me is uh, they gave me a slip after the exam. I thought it's some, uh, you know, to show the office that you attended the exam, they gave a slip. So I thought it is bad. So uh -huh. then my wife asked me at home, like, have you cleared? I said, I don't know. I have to wait for the result. It takes five days. But she said it will take two days. So let's wait for it. She okay. read it properly. And then she told me, dude, you passed. So That's <laughs> called a spouse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't read the paper which is given to you, which has a results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read everything for that and I was so exhausted. I didn't feel like reading anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> so in that sheet, it's called provisional sheet for the people who are listening here. Uh, in a provisional sheet, they'll give you a, a paragraph of information. In paragraph one, line number two, there'll be a word pass. Paragraph one, line number two, pass. You have to see that word is visible. <laughs> okay. Once it's there, you, it's done. So uh, what was your wife's reaction once she saw the results? Uh, basically, she was challenging me. You are studying so much. Let us see what you will do in the exam. <laughs> I was relieved that at least for her, I passed. So oh. my self-respect is still there, you know, with me. <laughs> that That's how it was. Yeah, but she used to get irritated quite a lot, looking at me in the laptop all the time, reading. Man, you didn't you make know. a shopping. You didn't do shopping for a while, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's bad, right? The women don't like that. Okay, you have to do shopping stuff. All right, good. Uh, but at the same time, that's good effort, uh, uh, Vijay. I appreciate it. And uh, first, congratulations for this great success. Because uh, going to this exam, even though this exam is not a super tough, it has its own intensity uh, where you need some time of preparation, few weeks, maybe five weeks or eight weeks of preparation. Uh, the problem with this exam is until you go to the exam hall, you are not sure you are ready for it. Uh, that uh, hesitation will be there. So you have to go for it. Even while writing the exam, you won't be sure whether you clear the exam. So that's the way the question paper is framed. So really, I appreciate that. Uh, for the benefit of the audience, um, if you want to tell how the question paper is in the sense of uh, one is a time management, other one is about the intensity. It is a high, moderate comparing to machine learning. Okay, okay. Um, so first of all, one thing to be relieved is that the questions definitely are not as intense as what you see on the machine learning mocks. It is definitely at least one or two levels below that. So that okay. is a relief. Relief. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and the other thing is uh, so. What I observed is there's a trend in like part one, part two, and part three. First 60, second 60, and third 60 question. What I observed is in part one, it was relatively easy for me. And maybe mm -hmm. I'm just getting into the exam that nervousness is there, you know, all that is there. So I think that helped in, you know, uh, doing those. Second uh, phase, what happened is I saw the question length was long. So, and I was also a little tired after first 60 questions, right? So I needed more time to read it. And I was scared that, okay, I'm losing too much time and all that. Uh, so that was what happened in phase two. Phase three, what happened is the question length was back to average. You know what I saw in the first one, but the options were very close by to each other. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could eliminate two options easily, but you know, the last two options, it was very difficult to make a choice. So uh, almost out of 60 questions, maybe 30 questions, I might have just guessed. Uh, uh Okay. It was it was uh, that close, but I had my logic for choosing. I mean, I try to arrive at a logic for every question. I try to give that effort. 
okay uh, that's what i try to do so that is from the intensity uh, point of view okay uh, time management uh, i feel like uh, doing the full mocks that were there on shri learning right that's that's something that i just cannot live without but if i had not done that i would have surely struggled in this exam because oh. that idea you know how much time it takes to solve a question and mm. uh, you know how much time i need to save towards the end and uh, it's 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 almost like a marathon so how we prepare for a mar- marathon we have to like run for two months yeah, or so yeah. that's true like i felt you know this uh, event four hour exam is also like that we need to practice mental stamina exactly and that is something that can really help that is that's, that's true that's true vijay uh, i keep saying that fittest will survive so even today cricket match people are worried who will win the game it's fittest will survive it's thousands and millions of years who have that skill will survive for that skill you have to enhance yourself rightly we said mental stability so today if you know see cricket match wickets keep falling down people going bad they win lose it's different story but what you say this a four hours you have to sit and practice and get that stability i think that's very important i really appreciate the effort what you took and uh, next question people have here is which book you read uh yeah first i actually read rita 10 and agile practice guide very good uh, that's what i read so it was the most painful thing that i've done in the last 10 years uh to read those you know 450 540 pages whatever god man <laughs> uh, but after that uh, i think what helped me is uh, i also saw the optional reading material you had given that head first books <laughs> yeah yeah so i actually love that book because it it tries to you know gamify project management yeah, a lot of yeah. like a storytelling storytelling yeah, yeah. yeah. so i felt after reading rita which is like heavy uh, mm-hmm. head first was more of a welcome you know kind of a reading material but that's also long that also gets stressful beyond a point but i really felt that book was very important in getting my concepts clear that's nice that's nice yeah that's true uh, even when i was preparing 2016 i the first book i read is head first pmp uh, after which head first community that's a community they stop releasing latest edition of the content so what you read may not be the latest edition which doesn't have too much of agile but it has information which is needed for the exam you will have something there yeah that's good that's a good thing you said so read a 10 sorry to add sorry but but uh, i downloaded the head first agile book also which was there oh, a special agile book okay yeah. very good so, yeah very I good mean, i think i over prepared but i did that also i read that also amazing man so you read a good amount of books and you did a good amount of uh, practice exams and uh, you made the mental stability ready for the examination good so if one advice you want to give for the people who are preparing for exam now what will be your advice to them um i'll actually relay your advice which you had given <clears throat> uh, which is when we are reading make notes right okay. so that uh, you know reading becomes a little bit easier and when mm-hmm. we go back to the material we have something to as take away as to take out from that uh, nice. because reading is compulsory we can't do without it uh, okay. so if we are reading we would rather make our job easier by taking those notes and be a little proactive while reading rather than just read you know and scan the pages cardio cardio yeah while reading taking notes is very important fantastic maybe one other additional question people struggle here my scores are not going high even though i prepare well i take exam i practice i'm seeing the gray areas but uh, it is not crossing 60% or 50% uh, anything you have for that <laughs> yeah it's a funny story uh, so when i gave mock 1 the full mock 1 the first one i had scored 75 mock 2 ah. scored 71% mock 3 71% again mock 4 i actually ended up scoring 61% which is when <laughs> i texted you and said shri what is this you know can i really write my exam or not so i think uh, uh, what's important is to uh, what i i followed is i actually made an excel sheet and then you know the various domains that are there right people process and under that you have all those activity yeah. uh, you know activities so i tried to analyze where the mistake came in each full mock that is the mock took me 4 hours but analyzing the mock took me another 2 hours so mm-hmm. uh, i mean i really went through all the wrong answers so that my head is clear on what how i should approach those questions i think that is a very important uh, something that really helped me 
Good, Vijay. I think the main message here is uh, analyzing the question, understanding what is a gray area and noting down those points and coming out of those mistakes will help us. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Amazing. Great. So did you celebrate your uh, success? Went for a dinner? Uh, it was the weekday, right? So didn't do much. Just uh, it was a holiday, fortunately. Uh, no excuse. No excuse. <laughs> All this excuse are rejected, rejected, rejected. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I just, I just didn't do any work that day, any office work. I just relaxed. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, good. Celebrate it because uh, um, I know this is one of your stepping stone in next stage of your career, where uh, it will give you a confidence that you can do something more. It is not you have to apply for a new job. It is not something you have to apply for a promotion. For yourself, you feel that confident. Yes, I can do something. Yeah, that's pretty important. Nice to know, Vijay. Good. So once again, thanks a lot for coming up here. I keep requesting people, once you clear the exam, join this uh, Sunday prayers. Uh, some of our words will motivate few more people who are preparing for the examination. Yeah, that's the intention here. Nice. Good to know. Great, thanks, Vijay. Thanks, Rahul, uh, for all the support. And I really found my peers in the group also very helpful as a part of this journey. So it's really nice to keep pushing each other to ask, you know, how are you doing? And when are you doing the mock exam? So that really, you know, gives some, uh, a sense of a community as we, because we are all alone in this journey. It's good to have that virtual connect, even if it is just virtual. Yeah, I felt that's really useful. Thank yeah, that, you so that, much. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's very much needed. The purpose of creating this ecosystem here is to help each other. Uh, in fact, by now you should have joined a group called the Elite Group. If not, uh, Rahul will help you. Uh, the intention of having a light group is after PMP, what to do? It's not only getting PMP, right? After PMP, can I do another certification? Can I apply for a job? How to prepare a resume? So the intention is you once you enter in, we have to start working on how to grow next level. That's the intention. Yeah. Nice to know, Vijay. Super, Vijay. Celebrate. Have a good time. I'm so happy for your great success. Sure. And thanks a lot for those messages on the chat and uh, wish you all the best in your uh, journeys as well. Super, super. Great. So let's congratulate uh, Vijay for this uh, wonderful achievement.